know it's been a while since I did some indie reviews, but I saw some three movies this week and I want to get them up. And um, here's the first one. Hey, hey guys, thank you for joining the class again today. I'm your host Marquise Underwood and today I'll be reviewing Shelter, which is directed by Paul Bettany. He has the guy that played Vision in Avengers Age of Ultron and he also plays Jarvis in, you know, every Avengers movie that deals with Iron Man. And it stars Anthony Mackie and Jennifer Connelly. And this movie is about these two homeless people who meet and um, they fall in love. It's about how, you know, even though they're homeless, they're still gaining a connection. They're still trying to make it in the world together and how they're using each other to get better and get off the streets and get their lives together. And honestly, this was a really heartfelt movie. You know, Jennifer Connelly's character, Hannah, she's, a, she's like this drug addict or so. Or she's addicted to drugs and she's like basically just getting off. So, you know, every once in a while she has to steal from people. She has to um, call her family to try and get money, you know, wire to her account. Um, she's just trying to survive. And Anthony Mackie, he's just, you know, living. You know, he's not really doing much. Um, another homeless guy sold his shoes or so. He's just trying to survive too. And, you know, Jennifer Connelly just happens to try to steal from uh, Anthony Mackie's character, Tyre. And um, it's just about how that, you know, stealing incident becomes a relationship and how they're just trying to grow together. And um, they're just, you know, trying to find shelter, really. You know, every day, every night, they're trying to find a new place to sleep at. And, you know, once they do find a consistent spot, Jennifer Connelly's character kind of has to do some things in order to stay there and to not, you know, get caught or ratted out by the guy that's helping her keep her spot. So it's just about that. Now, see, I thought the acting was really good. I felt like I was watching a real life couple going through this exchange. I feel like, you know, they both like were around like homeless people and like really like lived in shelters for a while to prepare for this role because it felt really genuine and really authentic in my eyes. And in fact, I think that was what Paul Bettany was going for because um at the end of the movie, it says dedicated to the couple outside my house. So I think he really wanted to keep his raw and grounded into reality. I thought the direction was good too. Um, it's nothing special, but it didn't have to be nothing special because it's a straightforward narrative. So I feel like it really worked. And I feel like as a, I don't know if this is his first time directing, but if it is, I think it's a great job in my eyes. I believe this movie played at either like uh, Toronto Film Festival or Sundance. Uh, I may be wrong, but I think it played at one of those. But um, I'm, I don't understand why it got out actually. You know, I'll probably, I'll give this movie, you know, a B plus 3.8 out of um, five. Like I said, it's really heartwarming. Uh, you really feel for the characters. You really, you know, feel like you're watching two life couples, like somebody that you know going through this, and you really feel the hardships. You really understand why Hannah does the things she does. You really want Ty years to get better. So I really feel like it pulls out the strings well, and um, the acting is great. So have you seen Shelter? If you have, comment below, and I want to know what's the best indie movie you've seen so far this year. Uh, again, again, hit that subscribe button and join the quest. Have a good one.